you're hanging around the internet trying to get as much information as you can about the Mila Triflex HX1 cat and dog. Maybe your upright vacuum cleaner uh, is just way too heavy on your hands and shoulders and it's just killing you every time you vacuum. Maybe your central vacuum hose too long, too cumbersome to take up and down the stairs. Maybe your canister is not following you along the way it used to. Maybe you just decided to cut the cord. For whatever reason, your existing vacuum cleaner sucks and not the way it should. Whatever brought you here, we're gonna tell you everything you need to know about these vacuums. As a matter of fact, we tested the heck out of them. And originally we thought, well, these are great vacuum cleaners for quick pickups around the kitchen table. Yeah, they're cordless, they're bagless, right? Easy, quick. Boy, were we wrong. Not only they would do that, obviously, they could do your whole house no matter what. Stick around, everything you need to know will tell you about, and maybe, just maybe, vacuuming doesn't have to be a chore anymore. <laughs> But is this really Mila's newest line of vacuum cleaners when it comes to stick vacuums? It is not. As a matter of fact, Mila's been making stick vacuum cleaners since 1952. That's over 70 years ago. Now, keep that in mind. Stick vacuum cleaners, a battery operated bagless versions of, have been around since, I wanna say 2006. They've been around for over 15 years. Now. Get the 70 year experience Mila's got with making stick vacuum cleaners and them monitoring the market in the last 15 years because they've definitely taken their time to come up with this model. They've put all of that together and they've realized, well, as far as stick vacuums are concerned, this is pretty much the only thing you're gonna get, this configuration. Doesn't matter where you go, you're gonna get a machine that's battery operated and a bagless in this exact configuration, right? There's a couple of good things about this. It was easy to reach under stuff. It was really, really good to clean up quick messes quickly. All right, but there is a couple of issues with this type of configuration. One is, I can drop it. No, I didn't mean to break a thousand dollar vacuum, but the other problem is what if I need to move things around and I can't make this stand anywhere on its own, anywhere. Literally, or the only option I have is to lean it against the wall. So that's one issue. The second issue is these configurations tend to be heavy. As a matter of fact, this exact vacuum changes its weight by 50% from one configuration to another. I'll show you that in a second. The third was the fact that you have no option but to put it on its mounting charge, which is mounted on the wall. So you're putting screws under the wall. There is no other way to do it. So they've come up with a better idea. Now, before I go ahead and do that, I wanna show you a magic trick. This vacuum itself in a reach configuration weighs just over 4.5 pounds. As a matter of fact, I think the last time I tested it, it was just over 4.8 pounds. Can the same vacuum lose 50% of its weight in three moves? I wish I could do that. One, two, three. All we've done is we've transferred the weight down to the bottom. I would say 50% of the weight is gone in one shot. Where is it? Still the same vacuum cleaner, right? That is seven years worth of engineering, German engineering. As a matter of fact, these machines are made in Germany, in Milo's own factories. Now I have half the pressure on my hand and shoulders. And is it still reachable underneath stuff? Yeah, it lays flat as a matter of fact. And what if I wanted to go get a cup of water? Do I need to lay it against anything? No. What if I just didn't want to put any holes in my walls? Well, can I charge it like that? Absolutely, okay. So the idea is this. This is not new. This configuration 
was you know, the reach configuration is not a new idea. This by itself is not a new idea. But the fact that Amila has come up with a way for you to be able to choose which configuration works best for you, that's new. <laughs> Okay, let's start with the easy stuff. We're gonna start with the low pile carpet. What else? Just rice? Okay. All right, so let's see how we do with some rice. All right. Number one. One pass, amazing. Number two suction setting. Same job. Number three, suction setting. Perfect. That wasn't hard at all. Uh, let's see how we're gonna do under that stuff over there. Comfort reach. Okay, that's quite a lot more than I anticipated, but let's try it. All I want to see is how it maneuvers around and underneath stuff. This is great. Um, I also want to see how it does uh, on edge to edge cleaning. So uh, I'm going to try some there, some here. Edge to edge cleaning on the left side. Perfect. Right side. Perfect. The front. This thing is an absolute joy to use. And we're done. So. All of that is good. So we got, we know we got bare floors covered. We've got low pile carpets covered. I wanna know how we do on thicker pile rugs, let's say. Very white. And what I would call a pretty thick carpet. What do we have? This should be fun. Okay. Okay. Now this is all above surface. What if I could get these guys to kind of get in deep in the piles. The thing is, these things keep jumping around. Okay. Third suction setting. Let's see how we do there. I get a little bit of a snow plow there. It's getting a little harder to push this back and forth. It's a little too much suction, but I see, see how the grain of carpet is changing. Every, I can actually leave marks. Don't you love this when that happens on a carpet? You leave marks on the carpet with a battery operated machine. Let's try something else.
Okay. Ready? Carpets. One of the things I want to show you, which I really like about this machine, is how seamless the transition is from even a thicker pile carpet to bare floors without you having to do anything. As a matter of fact, you don't even have to touch a button. The machine is smart. That electro brush is smart enough to know which surface it's being used on and therefore it'll adjust itself accordingly and that's the speed of the brush it just measures resistance really that's all it does um, but watch this This was extremely simple. I didn't touch it. Uh, what they've done is, it's extremely simple to maintain this brush roll. There's a little button back here. Push it to the left, and it allows you to open up that, which then gives you complete access to the brush roll. And that's all there is to it, really, nothing else. Uh, putting it back is extremely easy. All you have to do is make sure it's in here and that's it, really. There's really nothing much to do that. It also ensures that it doesn't scratch your floors. Now, that's vinyl. We've done laminate. Even if you have really good quality hardwood floors, the uh, brush head here is sitting on top of four rubber, rubber wheels. Sitting on top of four rubber wheels. One, two, three, and four. So those are the only thing, the only uh, four points touching the floor and they're non-marking rubber. Pet hair, do we have any pet hair? To rub it in. Oh, that's easy, easy enough. This is a hand electric brush, meaning that it's best used with the handle and not at the end of the stick because it's not really supposed to go on floors. This is for above surfaces, especially if you have pet hair on couches and upholstery and beds, and if you have carpeted stairs or if you want to use something for the car, car seats, uh, anything like that. Now, um, I still have some seed right here. Now this is a lot fuller than it should be. So let me show you how you could clean. <laughs> Cut that thing. I'm losing it. Shoes hurt. This is a lot fuller than it should be. So let's try to empty it first. I wanna show you how you can get rid of all the dirt. All I have to do is turn this left about a quarter of a way pick up the dust bucket, and all I want to do is turn it all the way left. Now, Mila doesn't make their own batteries. They have um, partnered up with a company called Varta out of Germany that was founded in 1887, I believe. 
a couple of quick facts about them. Um, Neil Armstrong took a photo on the moon with a camera that had Varta batteries in it. Uh, they've also had a venture with VW um, quite a long time ago, um, which I believe is ongoing. So they know their stuff when it comes to batteries. One of the best things, however, about this type of uh, a machine and battery is the fact that the battery is removable. So in, in the worst possible case scenario, if something goes wrong, it's just a matter of replacing the battery. And they don't cost a lot. I think it's going to retail around $150. Even if you wanted to have a second battery where uh, you it extend your charge time, you can easily do that. This machine comes with three accessory tools. Warranty, very important. Still one of the best, if not the best warranty you get in the business is by Mila Canada. And that means you have five years of warranty, including parts and labor. That covers everything, everything you see out of the box. You have seven years of warranty on the motor and you have two years warranty on the battery. Now we do ship these free of charge to all Canadian provinces which kind of ties into the warranty that I was just telling you about. And that is, what if I uh, live in Victoria, BC or Sydney, Nova Scotia? Uh, how would we go about the warranty work? Well, we are a warranty center and that's pretty important, especially when it comes to after sales. Here's, here's what happens most of the time with most of the bigger retailers, they are not capable even if they wanted to, to take care of any type of warranty or service work for you. So, you know, if anything happens, you're gonna go back to them who are going to ask you to go talk to the manufacturer who then are going to try to refer you to a dealer. Well, when you purchase from us, it's just a matter of a phone call. Put your feet up, give us a call, tell us what's wrong, that's it. We will send you a part out free of charge immediately. All right. With the motor, you have seven years. Now, what if it had to go in for service? What if you don't have a dealer close to you? Well, the world is getting smaller, isn't it? So all we have to do is send you a label, which we will. You will have it shipped to us. We'll take care of it for you and ship it back free of charge. It's under warranty. All right. So that makes it easy for you to make a decision. Now you've learned everything you need to know about this machine. You're now, by now, you should know if this is a good model for you. But if you do have any questions, anything you're not sure about, you're more than welcome to reach us. You can chat with us on the website, vacuumwarehouse.ca, and give us a call toll free at 1-877-220-5656. You can send us an email, sales at vacuumwarehouse.ca. Okay? Now we do have a secured website, so checking out on the website is not only secure, it's safe, and it could also be fun. Now, here's my personal promise to you. If you do take this machine, within 30 days, if you don't absolutely love it, send it back, no problem. We either help you find something else or we give you your money back. It's as easy as that. Buy this and I promise you're gonna love it.